Stumpa da dumpa dumpa. It's movie poopy. Hey everyone, welcome back to Movie Poopy Attorneys at Law, episode two hundred two. Weird ASMR triggers. <laughs> Just put your foot in left of the other one, and the right foot first, and then one foot in front of the other, and soon you'll be doing porn shit. <laughs> <laughs> Stop like, it! Your parents are disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. That's let's big. let's see what you've learned since your last time. I won't show you any mercy this time, Rookie. <laughs> okay. And who are you again? I'm. Please bring Detective Gift. Is Gif his name Gif actually Maxwell Payne, or did we make that up? Because that's the same as Max Payne from Max Payne. I'm pretty sure we made that part up. <laughs> Can we continue to make that part up? No. <laughs> <laughs> Please bring Detective Dick Gumshoe to the stand. Here we go. <laughs> Don't let me down in the right. <laughs> Nowhere to hide. I'm so dead. Hashtag so dead. <laughs> Hashtag Civil War 2. <laughs> so dead. <laughs> Dan! Oh my god, it's a thing I voice! Witness, please state your name and occupation. Uh, my name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of the homicides down at the precinct, sir. You don't look very well, detective. Well, sir, I stab myself while shaving. All the time. It happens every day. Yeah, I'm kind of bleeding out. <laughs> like, all the time. Well, sir, the defendant, she works under me, so, you know. You work under the detective? Yes, sir. And when I was a trainee, he was always running out for me. Usually when I cry, I'm smiling. I'm always crying, Dan. It's the only way I can do a distinguishing voice characteristic. Because as we have previously determined, I only have like four voices. And those voices are all you have in life. <laughs> I already used all of them, and I can't interchange them with, like, old bang or something. <gasps> Anthony! One... Anthony. Buddy, you know, you gotta turn that frown upside down. I think it's time for a new episode of Voice Makeover! Pew, 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 pew. On today's You're episode touching your shoulder like that after the weird fucking whispering in my ear has made me wildly uncomfortable, so I've decided I'm gonna leave and kill myself. Today on Voice Makeover. I'm leaving and killing myself. <laughs> Today on Voice Makeover. I'm taking your chair. Anthony's gonna have to learn a little thing about self-respect. So Anthony, I want you to uh, voice your, your inner demons right now. <laughs> Anthony learned a new voice today. Next episode on Voice Makeover, a dragon gets his final wish to sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm a dragon. I can't sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger at all. I am Arnold Schwarzenegger. I am here to train you in how to sound like me. Well, here's my current impression. Uh, Arnold. Uh. Well, that's just horrible. No, my girlfriend will never love me. But it's okay, dragon. Arnold Schwarzenegger will train you. Rising up. Yay. When did we just turn into a shitty improv troupe? <laughs> <laughs> so in our improv group, we uh, we do blood sacrifices every Tuesday. <laughs> when did, yeah, when did we just turn into a shitty improv troupe? I don't know. Cause that's that basically what these attorneys bet, <laughs> except the game does the improv part for us. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, it's great. Say it! I thought Fuck. I said it. Okay. <laughs> okay, calm down. I believe. Stop scratching your ear. You're going to fucking murder your ear. Detective Gunch. <laughs> I went up to the mic and Anthony's face was right there. And I just got like within like millimeters of Anthony's face. Ow! You flicked me. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Yes, sir. It happened at the park near headquarters, Expose Park. It's You're a nudist park. You're taking me to the point of no return. It's a nudist park. No, that's Expose, the 1980s girl band. Dan, put up a picture of Expose, the 1980s girls, the 1980s girl band. Bands exist that have girls in them? <laughs> yeah, it's all of them, and they sound like the 80s. 
Do they all sound like this? <laughs> no, only one girl hypothetically sounds like that in all of existence. Okay, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> the victim was one of the local cops, Dustin Prince. Dustin Prince! Oh my god, that's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it just took me repeating it. <laughs> god damn it! It's <laughs> the stupidest fucking name. Oh, I love this game. <laughs> He was pushed down from the ba beat the bench the beat the benches on the upper path, sir. The landing beat his body up bad. He snapped his neck. Me. And and the details are listed in that report that he was that was distributed yesterday. The, the report gave me a paper ah cut. yes. The report gave me a paper cut. So Interrupt and come. So some would say it caused me. Don't you dare! It's <laughs> mine. <laughs> a mild stinging sensation in my finger. That someone characterized as pain. <laughs> <laughs> your your blatant um, misconduct in court today of improvi improvising me. Um, my wife and child are going to see this on Twitter now and they're going to feel so much absence in my life. <laughs> I mean, this if I do this voice, it's basically interchangeable. It is not in the slightest. No, it sounds exactly the same. See, now you're getting your face really close to me, and how the fuck do you think I feel? I'm moving really close to Dan's face. I right feel now. so good. <laughs> Why are we doing this? Go away! <laughs> uh, yes, this autopsy report, correct? It smells like Anthony's fucking stupid breath. What if I really need to even go to her and be Like, I just want to spit. Like, I want to make sure it's voided from my body, your breath. <laughs> I see everything is in order here. Someone even wrote a very nice uh, pretzel on it. Oh, um, yes, a pretzel. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Someone drew did a pretzel on the autopsy report. Why? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dan. I was just so taken off guard by that joke. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Damn, put a picture of a pretzel on screen. <laughs> This, uh, <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Auntie Annie's. <laughs> Auntie Annie's, eat pretzels. Just throw the throw the Snyder's of Hanover. Throw the judge a bone so that we can make callback. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, make the bone a pretzel. Make the boner pretzel. <laughs> Dan, edit rookie to say pro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, even the est estimated time of death is unusually well documented. The victim's watch stopped from the impact of the landing, sir. The result of the autopsy confirmed the time of death. That's weird that, that the autopsy had to confirm the, the watch stopping. That's, like, weird. Yeah, they poked at it with a screwdriver. If I may, Your Honor, the prosecution would like to submit this photograph. Very well. The court accepts it into evidence. The judge is like my favorite character. <laughs> is he? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. No, just like it, just not even because of you. The judge was always my favorite character. Well, fuck you. <laughs> Your voice is just fucking like amazing for some reason for it. <gasps> now I'm the judge, Tim. <laughs> oh god, no. <laughs> Now then, I recall at yesterday's preliminary hearing- Wait, time the fuck out. When the fuck has there ever been preliminary hearings? <laughs> you also have amnesia, so shut up. <laughs> Alright, good point, good point. I don't actually accept that into court evidence, so I'm just gonna call you a fuck up. <laughs> oh. How's that rent doing, Phoenix? I pay rent? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Who's been paying my rent? <laughs> <laughs> Maya's just like getting all these fucking checks. She works at like she works at like a Burger King. Yeah. <laughs> I want I like imagine Maya like in like the old YouTube video like I work at Burger King making junior waffles. I wear paper hats. <laughs> it's like uh <laughs> the Family Guy joke, but yeah, exactly yeah, the yeah. same. I know. No, it's like like when she got on the train in the end of the first game, she just wrecked crashed like, into a Burger King. It's like I live here. No, now. no, like she literally got off at like the next stop and is like I'm just going to work at the Burger King. <laughs> A very important piece Dan, of evidence. Dan, edit May in a Burger King uniform. It was brought to our attention. <laughs> They're basically, I mean, spirit mediums and Burger King employees are sort of similar. Dan, put a Burger King employee in Maya's costume and put May in a Burger King costume. I missed that line, but yes, I guess. What are we you? talking about? Yes, I guess. I missed the line because it went by. Mr. Right. Mr. Right. Your possession. He <laughs> your head on the right way. We're not doing possession in episode two, damn it. <laughs> Why not? This is episode 105. Fine, we'll do 50 possessions. <laughs> Well, <laughs> Mr. Right, is your head on the right way? Wait, wait a day. Whoa. Uh, Whoa. Wh why are you in here? I am split personality. Whoa, I'm sharing this. I'm Emma Faye. 
I'm sharing this body right now with like 50 different voices from the past game. Hi, girl. I'm the fairy with all the tongue. I don't have a tongue. We did it, Anthony. Found a new voice. <laughs> this is just me turning my tongue over. An I'm not even talking in my normal voice. This is just me without a tongue. Dude, this is like Pokemon Go for f uh, voices. <laughs> what are you talking about? Anthony got a new voice. But how can I this is just the tongue? His voice can only be found by the beach. <laughs> Anyways, hey guys, <laughs> Mr. Wright, is your head on yeah, right what today? If I just did everything like this and there was a very shut up, as if there, I didn't have Mr. A Wright. I know you're having a seizure, but shut up. There was a very crucial piece of evidence found under the victim's body. Was that my tongue? Yes. <laughs> oh shit! Thanks. Thanks for sewing it back in. <laughs> no, no problem. I, I, it's less sewing. I'm more just kind of like crocheting it. No, I did like you know the thing you do with like envelopes. Like you lick them and then just kind of stick it. You on. licked the tongue and then stuck it back in. That is adding some unnecessary connotations to the statement. <laughs> uh, please make sure you keep that out. <laughs> what was there? Have you lost your mind? Yes. Yes. What? I didn't even pro. <laughs> Alright, all you new fans of Movie Poopy, just want to let you know that this is basically going to be every episode. <laughs> <laughs> I like every, every episode is going to be ORF 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 MOW Shut up! Just do a normal voice! <laughs> I'm saying the court record. Final click A. <laughs> court record? Oh my god. You've been me right around, baby. Shut right it. around. Oh my god. We suck. <laughs> Come on. Yep, all the info about evidence and people involved in the case is listed there, sir. You can look at the court record by touching the court record button. Ooh, the court record button. I'm not allowed button. to touch the court record button. Court record button. You really know what you're talking about. I confused these voices. Look at the fucking court record there. Dude, it looks like every Phoenix's court record ever. It's too bad I'm a cop, right? Just think, I could totally cut, touch the court record button. Mr. Wright! Well, uh, yes. <laughs> court is in session. Save your chit chat for later. This is very important non chit chat, Your Honor. But I shall keep it under control. It's close enough. <laughs> I guess I better check that court record. I'm not gonna check it. And see what I could find. What was it again? The court record button? I'm not gonna click he it. He just bangs his hand on the desk like, BUTTONS! The judge is like, what? what, what? Phoenix, are you okay? <laughs> and the judge is like, oh, I gotta press the judge button because the judge is like playing his own version of this game <laughs> in his own universe and he's like, He's like underneath the desk, like kicking. He's like, it's like Guitar Hero. It's, drum the, order, shit. it's the Eat Doritos <laughs> button. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, Mr. Dan Wright. Doritos. Let's see if your notes are in order. What, what was the piece of evidence found underneath the oh, victim's body? We have to body? check. We have to actually check. Oh fuck. Uh, uh, check the autopsy report. Glasses. Oh, I'd go with that then. All right, let's go with that. Yeah, let's do it. A wallet. No. <laughs> That's we simple. should click the please badge. <laughs> it's simple, Your Honor. It was a broken pair of glasses. That's right. The victim grabbed the criminal's glasses as he was being shoved, sir. I fucked up that voice. And held on to them as he fell. No, that's gumshoe. Yeah, that was gumshoe. No, you're doing pain. No, I no, I I like did like a sad gumshoe. Like, oh no. I'm fucking dying. Inside. I'm the gumshoe that just found out he had cancer. <laughs> Go! What? Hey, why are you giving me that evil eye? Those glasses you're wearing. Nings! They're my spare pair. <gasps> they rhyme. But these glasses found at the crime scene are not mine, I swear. You sure about that? Look, it was a coincidence. It was on the same day I accidentally stepped in it on mine. A coincidence, she says. Irk. <laughs> Your Honor. One more hand. You missed a hand. I have further evidence to present here. Oh, you have more. And 
this evidence is very decisive. Stop! No! Good <laughs> night, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>